Today in front of us we have 25 divided by 2. One of the ways to write it is like this. And 25 will be the dividend and 2 will be the divisor. Another way to write it out is the long way where we write out 25 divided by 2. Once again, 25 is the dividend, 2 is the divisor. And another way to write 25 divided by 2 will be in a fraction format where we write 25 on top and 2 on the bottom. And 2 will be the divisor or the denominator. So let me show you how we divide 25 divided by 2. And hopefully you guys have divisions in your head. You could do multiplication in your head. If not, they have these cheap composition notebooks and the very back flap, there is a multiplication chart that's going to be very useful to help us solve this problem. So we take the 2 from the 25 and we divide it by the divisor 2. And when we take this multiplication chart, we highlight the 2, then we go up, make sure it's in the 2 column, and we divide these two numbers, and when we draw an arrow straight to the left, the answer will be 1. This is one of the ways we use a multiplication chart. You could also type it in your calculator, 2 divided by 2 will be 1. Or hopefully this is a problem that you could do in your head. Then we take the answer 1, we put it on top over the 2, and then we take 1 times 2, and the answer will be 2. We write it right up here. We then take 2 minus 2, and the answer will be 0. Next, in the dividend, the 25, we bring down the 5 straight down, right, at, right up here. So here it gets a bit tricky. We have to take 5 divided by 2. Now if you use the multiplication chart, they do not have that option. So you could either do it in your head or you could type it in your calculator. If you type in 5 divided by 2, the answer will be 2.5 on your calculator. So you only take the number before the decimal, the 2, and you write it over the 5. Another thing you could do is, in your head, you could ask yourself, how many times can you count by 2s without going over 5? 2, 4, 6. 6 is over 5, so you only could count 2 times, and 2 will be the answer. Next, we take the 2 that's over the 5, we multiply by 2, the divisor, and the answer will be 4, and we write 4 underneath the 5. Then we subtract. We take 5 minus 4, and the answer will be 1. So, what do we do with the 1? Since we got no more numbers to bring down, we bring the 1 to the top, we write the R, the R stands for remainder. So the answer is 12 remainder 1, or 12 with 1 left over. 12 remainder 1 is a totally acceptable answer, but sometimes your assignment may ask you to write the remainder as a fraction. So instead of writing R1, we take 1, draw the little dividing line, and the 2 is the divisor. So we take the divisor and we write underneath as the denominator. So the answer is 12 and a half. Now, and sometimes the assignment may say write the remainder as a decimal. So once again, we take that fraction, half, and what we do is we take the top number divided by the bottom number. So 1 divided by 2 will equal 0.5 or 0 0.5. And so we'll just write the answer as 12.5.
So in review, what is the answer? 25 divided by 2. By the way, the answer in a division is called a quotient. So what is the quotient for 25 divided by 2? One of the ways we could say it is 12 remainder 1. Another way to say it is 12.5 or 12 and a half. All of them are acceptable answers. Let's do another one. So here we have the dividend of 510 divided by the divisor of 5. And as always, we go to our trusty multiplication chart. So the multiplication chart, we do 5 divided by 5. So highlight the first 5, go up, highlight the 5, the column 5. And when we draw the arrow to the left, the answer is 1. So 5 divided by 5 will be 1. 1, we write over the 5. Then we take 1 times 5, and the answer will be 5, which we write right here underneath the 5. We then subtract 5 minus 5. The answer will be 0. Then the 1 next to the 5, we bring it straight down. So now we take 1 divided by 5. But since 1 is less than 5, we cannot divide a smaller number from a bigger number. Otherwise, we'll get a decimal. So the answer will just put 0. We put 0 over the 1. So every time a smaller number is divided by a bigger number, we just write 0. We then take 0 times 5, and the answer will be 0. We write it underneath the 1. We then take 1 minus 0, and the answer will be 1. Then in the dividend, the 0, the last 0, we bring it straight down, so now we got 10. We then take 10 divided by 5. Once again, you could do this in your head or we could use the multiplication chart and so come up here in the five column we highlight the 10 and 10 divided by 5 when we draw the arrow straight to the left the answer is 2 and we put the 2 on top of the 0 right here and once again we take 2 times 5 the answer will be 10 we write the 10 right down here below the other 10. And then we subtract. 10 minus 10 will be 0. When the answer is 0, we don't have any more to bring down. That means we do not write remainder 0. So the answer will just be 102. So 510 divided by 5 will be 102. 102 is the quotient. So here we have a four digit dividend, 5,168, divided by the divisor, which is number four. And the first thing we do is five divided by four. And we know that four goes into five once without going over. So we put the one on top over the five. Then we take 1 times 4, which will be 4, and we write the 4 underneath the 5. We then take 5 minus 4, and the answer will be 1. Then we go to the 1 next to the 5, and we bring it straight down, so now we have 11. We then take 11 divided by 4, and once again, you could use your calculator, you could use a math reference chart, a multiplication chart, a calculator, or do your head, in your head, sorry. And 11 divided by 4 will be 2. So 4, 8, then goes 12, so that goes over. So 4 only goes into 11 twice without going over. We put the 2 over the 1. We then take the 2, 2 times 4. 
The answer will be 8. We write the 8 underneath the second digit of 11. Then we subtract 11 minus 8 will be 3. We then take the 6 in the dividend and we bring it straight down. So now we have 36. We take 36 divided by 4. The answer will be 9 and we write the 9 on top of the 6. We then take 9 times 4 and the answer will be 36 or 36 and we write the 36 right underneath the other 36. We subtract. The answer will be 0 and we bring the 8 straight down. So now we have 8. We then take 8 times, sorry, 8 divided by 4 and the answer will be 2. No decimal, nothing, just a solid 2. We then take 2 times 4 will be 8. There will be no remainder because 8 minus 8 will be 0. So the answer is 1,292. That's the quotient. Now to excel in math, we always double check, if not triple check our work. And you could always take the calculator and type in the numbers, or you could do it manually. We take the quotient, 1,292, and we multiply it by the divisor. So two times four will be eight. Nine times four will be 36. We put the six on the bottom and the three we bring on top of the two. Four times two will be eight plus three will be 11. Put down the second digit, one on the bottom and bring the one over the one. And four times one will be four plus one will be five. The answers match 5,168.